in uh, his greatness on display one more time. I mean, he didn't need to, to win that to prove that he's the GOAT, but uh, just another part of his legacy there. Right. Tom Brady changed the whole team. Whole team. Had the whole attitude different. I consider him one of, if not the best of all time. Put it in. Another one, right? We, we played the, um, the Saints. This is a funny one. Don't kill me, Tom. This is a funny one, right? So they beat us twice that year. You know what I'm saying? Beat the shit out of us, right? Playoffs. They, they sweep us. So we get in the playoffs. Yeah. Everybody know that Drew Brees, he's retiring. Cause he won the same, R won the same, right? So Tom's like, oh man, happy to see you this and that, da, da, da. all that great shit, right? We beat him, right? Tom out there throwing with the kids, him and his son, they, they throwing yeah, um, yeah, the I Brees son, right? Yeah. Kissing the babies. We get in that uh, locker room. I got his ass. I got his ass. Let's go. Sit his ass down. He like, oh. No, he the best For me too. teammate For me. slash Bro. competitor and leader me. I've ever seen in my life. Explain. This every like he's the only player I've ever been around. Quarterback, coach, like what he says, you you believe it. Yo, go out there and walk on water. You gonna believe it because he ain't telling you something he's not gonna do. This dude, yo, he trained all day. First of all. We practice, right? At 42, still. At 42, he's 44. Dog, he older than you. Anyway, <laughs> look, he get worked on his body, right? We go to practice. After that, you know, everybody else, hey, we gonna get some drinks. Not drinks, but like water, we tired, right. Gatorade. Not him, he gonna go get some more treatment. Some more treatment. Getting and the sprints the, in. We had, look, the playoffs, right? Oh, he do get the sprints in. He slows them up. Love him the <laughs> hey, look, look, Man, in the playoffs, streets. right? No, no, I'm sorry, championship. Yo, this dude, so we, we you know you get the extra week off. So coach gave us like a nice like three days to rest. Not this dude. He sent the offense like a group chat on a on a text message. Bro, he going he hey, video. You can see him he at home. Video. The left D, uh, D back, cornerback. Yo, bad feet, doesn't turn his hips, whatever, whatever, whatever. Next video. This dude, he's great at ball skills, he's this, he's that. Going to the safety. He went through the whole defense, the linebackers. We want a side chat. Like me, Mike Evans, all the like, yo, this dude is really locked in. I've never seen that like that. Like, he want to win. He was like, I ain't chasing these quarterbacks. I'm chasing MJ. Like, his oh, mind. He said that? Yeah, like, I'm chasing, I'm chasing greatness. He's chasing greatness. Like, I think he got MJ. On the other hand, Ali and Frazier were trying to beat each other's brains out. <laughs> so how did that relationship go? How is it different now than 10 years ago? Yeah, I mean, I think there was always just great respect kind of on the perception of things. I could tell Tom Brady was a guy that, I said, he's got to watch a lot of film. I can tell he spends time with his receivers, working on timing after practice. I didn't really know that. I just assumed that. And then you play in a Pro Bowl together, right? And you spend time in Hawaii together. You play in a charity golf tournament together. You spend time with them. You have dinner together. And you realize that he is doing those things. And the next thing you know, we're kind of talking about ideas and how we watch film and sort of not giving away all the secrets but you know trying to improve each other's craft and so it's been a, uh, a special friendship and i think it's important to have respect for the opponent you want to beat them you want to do the best you can for your team but you know respect the guys you're playing against that's an important part of it retired from the game but guess why he came back to play with tom brady antonio brown everything that he's been through he wanted to come back to the game to play with who tom brady and them not the only two i wanted to go up there in 2007 to play with tom brady i studied this man i know what he stands for his work and everything that we just said up here is all the positive things that says about tom brady and being able to still uh adapt with Tom Brady or him adapting with them, it's a yeah. good thing because you see the game changing and evolving right before our eyes. And Tom Brady is still able to perform at a high level in our game today going into the 21st century. Man, the sky's the limit for Tom. I don't hey, know how many and, years he has left. Yeah, Give me about and, five more, Tom. Rex. Is there a goat in the NFL? Was it you? Has Brady replaced you? <laughs> oh, I think Tom has, you know, taken his place on the top up there a long time ago. So... He's had a tremendous career. It's fun to watch. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, there's always there, – everybody always contests over that. But I think but if you look at what Tom's been able to accomplish in his <clears throat> time that he's played, I think it's, uh, you know, puts him definitely up there in the top of the list. There's a lot of great guys, <clears throat> as I said before me, even, you know, you go back to Otto Graham, who won 10 or 11 championships. So um, it's hard to compare them, but, you know, if you're looking at it, yeah, definitely Tom. But, you know, obviously Tom's a great talent. And, and you, who, who would have – people ask me about what I thought was going to happen when he got to Tampa, and I said, well, 
I don't expect to see anything any different. I mean, look what they've done for him down there. They've given him some opportunity that he was looking for to have more say in what he's doing. He added that knucklehead right there to his team, <laughs> and, <laughs> and he seems to be getting going right now. Uh, and the weapons around him are crazy. And and if you get if you get Gronk and him going again when they're in the red zone, which they, they love to do, until it starts happening on the field and you start seeing it, and Tom has to teach it and what he's looking for to those guys. And so now look out, you know. I agree. I think they're, they're headed to the Super Bowl. It what? I'm sorry, I got a lost start. I'm surprised it what? Were you surprised that the Patriots came back against this defense no. now? Because the, no Gronk. The, the Patriots never feel as though they're out of the game. But did you? No, because Brady, I always tell my friends, never pick against Brady. Ask anybody who knows me, don't pick against Brady. You're never out of it. It's a reason why the head coach is arguably the greatest ever mm -hmm. in any sports organization or franchise. Mm -hmm. The offensive coordinator is up for a head coaching job. The defensive coordinator is up for the head coaching job. Mm -hmm. And the owner, one day, Mr. Kraft, is going to be a Hall of Famer. How do you feel about Tom's ranks now? Is it cemented over? Is he better than either of your guys? <laughs> you know, I, I'm, I'm being asked that a lot, but, you know, I think it's a whole different era. Uh, I, I think I would have loved to see Tom Brady play in the era that we did. Uh, you know, at that time, I don't think uh, uh, quarterbacks, they were protected as much. But you cannot, you know, you, you cannot deny that uh, he's one of the greatest and he's uh, putting up outstanding numbers. Uh, this would be ring number six for him. And he makes everybody better around him. Your thoughts on uh, Tom Brady and the Super Bowl? A uh, fantastic Super Bowl. Uh, felt bad for Matt, you know, getting to know him over the years. He's a fantastic guy. He had an incredible MVP season. And uh, sitting there at 28 3, I think everybody's watching and probably at the game was thinking Atlanta's going to get their, uh, their ring sized up here pretty soon. Uh, so that was disappointing. But uh, from a fan's perspective, uh, what a great game to watch and, and to see Tom uh, in uh, his greatness on display one more time. I mean, he didn't need to, to win that to prove that he's the GOAT, but uh, just another part of his legacy there. You didn't have to be told to take somebody out. No, 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 no. I didn't ever want to take anybody out. I just wanted to play hard. But did you guys have a bounty? No. It, 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 as far as incentive, not the word bounty. But would you say, all right, whoever gets this guy... Uh, we're all buying dinner. Or no, no, no. We our guys were too cheap. <laughs> what would you tell me? Would you tell me if you actually had incentive to take somebody out? Yeah, but I don't think we we never we weren't that kind of team. We were a team that wanted to play hard and you want to be respected. And I was never one. I never wanted to take anybody out. I I want to beat you with your best players. I don't want any excuses. But I don't. We didn't have bounties like that. But as many times as you guys hit Brady in the Super Bowl, you did try to take Brady out. No, we Did just you? we just tried to win the game. I, we were hitting him so often and so fast from the beginning of that game. We're looking around like, okay, they some they're tricking us. Like they're tricking us. This is not maybe they're setting us up so they we can rush so fast and they'll throw a screen over our head or something. But then we realized once he was cursing out the line, this is real. Uh, he's not cursing these guys out for nothing. He's kind of pissed that we're getting to him. That's so. a big advantage for you guys. Oh yeah. Because now all of a sudden you're starting to see cracks in the armor with the undefeated team. and Yeah, but one thing about him as opposed to a lot of other quarterbacks, because one thing, when it's no better feeling as, as an athlete when you know you're dominating a team or some guy so much that you can look in his eye and you can tell he's like, I don't want to be here. <laughs> and, and Brady never had that look. Some of his guys it's did. Fine. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> but he never had that look. And that's the one thing I respect about him. This guy, he's a competitor, man. And as pretty as he is, as beautiful as his family is, his pretty wife, you know, quarterback get all the pretty women. Um, he is a fierce competitor. And I think we all walked out of that game win as winners, of course, but with a lot more respect for him in that in that aspect. Great Brady is, but yeah. just what you put me, I don't know how you put one sound bite his career, what he's done, and how much he's meant to the league in that organization. Well, it doesn't seem like he's stopping anytime soon. <laughs> um, I don't know if there's a guy who um, is more diligent or disciplined in regards to his recovery and his preparation and you know, his mindset. And um, One of the greatest of all time, if not the greatest. I and mean, certainly the championships will tell you the greatest. Um, got a ton of respect for him. I've been playing against him since college um, and have a lot of respect and admiration for him. And New England, was it Bill? For the time. TB12. Ooh. I would say TB12. 
that was a steal for Bill Belichick and the Patriots to draft him in the sixth round. Nobody never knew that Tom was going to win these many uh, these championships. But you got to look at the hustle with Tom. Tom is one of the most competitive, you know, players on that field. He knows he knows how to move chess pieces on the board. To answer the question, is TB12 100 percent? Get number 12. As I want to get there when I'm 40, I, I'm going to keep myself up like that. Does that inspire you? Yeah, for sure. I mean, he's done an unbelievable job. I heard you guys laughing earlier about the avocado thing. It's crazy. But the, what he's done with his body, um, really from kind of where I'm at now, 34, to where he's at 40 the last six years, he's transformed his game. I tease him from time to time. I think he's more athletic in and out of the pocket now. Mm. Uh, he's running more. Yeah, yeah. You true. know, he's moving up in the pocket. He's getting out to throw. Uh, he's extending plays, which he really didn't do a lot early in his career. Uh, it's a testament to his work ethic and the way he takes care of himself, which obviously with his new book out, you know, it's, it's, uh, he's kind of letting some of the secrets out a little bit. But uh, he knows, you know, he's played a long time. And I think he, he wants to keep playing, you know, 43, 44, 45. Now with Jimmy G out in San Fran, I think, you know, it's kind of paved the way for him to keep on going. If you're doing a show about greatness and it's about football, well, guess what? You can't do it without Tom Brady, the greatest of all time. In his 10th Super Bowl appearance, he's done the unthinkable. He transitioned to a new team, and he's brought them within one game of the Lombardi Trophy in their home stadium, which no one's ever done before. Ever since I can remember, I've been watching Tom Brady. He's one of my biggest idols, somebody who I look up to, um, who's inspired me throughout my life. Um, and it's just been this way for as long as I can remember. This has been the team to beat. It's been the team that everybody, um, you know, has their eyes on because they are the best. And um, Bill Lecek has just done a phenomenal job over there in running it and getting the team exactly how he wants them. So you're going to have to bring your A-plus game. Brady's the GOAT, and I know, you know we've done some GOAT cloning. So I, I think that he's, I think there's something going on. I, I don't, he's not human to be, you know, playing the way he's still playing, mentally prepared every single game, um, decisive decisions, knows how to manage a game. Um, Plays offense and defense with, with the way that he plays. He's just very smart. He's the best to ever do it. Um, I don't think anybody could really argue it. Um, he, he's just the greatest. So uh, I definitely want some of the water that he's drinking. Um, hopefully, you know, that, that's, that's where everyone, um, you know, I know for me as well, we all are inspired to, to be like him. Brady's still hanging around at 40. You were probably thinking about, Hey, by the time I get to 36 years old, Brady will be retired and I'll have a clean shot right at the AFC title. Do you ever think about how this rivalry has just sustained itself for so long? Well, I'd, I'd, I'd rather play against the greatest, you know. You had never asked for another player's jersey. First off, did you get the jersey yet? And why was it so important for you to, to have Tom? I consider him one of, if not the best of all time. And uh, I did get it. Played the New England Patriots the other night. And just so happened I was there. I had a front row seat. Right, but Tom Brady came to you, mm -hmm. and Tom Brady said to you, I want to know, what was your emotions? Because I heard you earlier in the week talking about preparing for the GOAT. You called him the GOAT. He, he has six rings. He's on the But what was that moment like for Lamar Jackson? Uh, when, when I was on the field, you know, it, it didn't, it wouldn't hit me. You wow. Know, um, I'm, I was, I'm, I'm trying to compete, you know, when, when I touch that field. Uh, my goal is to come out with victories, and... That's what I wanted to do. I, I really, like I said before, I didn't care who I was playing against. You know, Tom Brady, the GOAT of all GOATs, six Super Bowls, 20 years doing it. The guy still, he's still playing like he's a, a second year player, third year player, like he's a, you know, a young guy in the league still. You can't take nothing from him. It, it was just, it was crazy, you know. Um, I know we'll see him again, so you just gotta prepare. You sack a quarterback. Do you say anything to him? <laughs> Do you say I'm nah, coming nah. back? No, nah, no, nah, because you know, I, you know, some quarterbacks feed off of that stuff. I know that. Oh, you mean now? You know, Tom they Brady, hear that? You know, Tom Brady. You know, if you start talking trash to him, you know, he'll put 21 up on you fast. <laughs> and um, so I just try to, you know, if you I talk just, trash to Brady, he's got 21 points on yeah, there. Yeah, he's gonna put it up fast. So right. I just try to do my job, and I just try to get in and out. I try to get in and out before they even know get what happened. Get in and out before. That's, see, that's it, isn't before it? They even get know in and out before you know what happened. Learned the legacy of Tom Brady on the day that you were born. But really, what is the first memory you have of TB12 throwing the ball? I remember, I think the first one I remember is when he's, he's grabbing the trophy and he's, he's throwing it up and he's screaming, he's yelling, just the, the excitement. 
Um, I mean, it, it's been forever. And uh, uh, like we were talking about a little bit before, I mean, it seems like every single year he's just getting better. Um, and it, it truly is amazing to watch. And uh, it's amazing to go up against because, you know, it's uh, you're going up against the best. A close friend. Um, he currently leads the league in passing attempts, completions, passing yards, and touchdown passes. Only Drew Brees and Peyton Manning have been able to do that over the last 31 years. So he's got a chance to close that thing out this weekend. I know he's set a lot of records already this season, but what would it be like uh, for you to, to see him have yet another one? Uh, it's just cool to be part of history, uh, you know. It's just unbelievable. It just shows that, you know, what his work ethic is, uh, how dedicated he is to the game of football, um, and just how talented he is, and uh, just his determination uh, week in and week out. It's just unbelievable. And uh, it's, it's just surreal how he's just pulling it off um, at age 44 and just coming out here like he's in his 20s still and just winging that ball, zipping it where it needs to be, making fantastic throws week in and week out. But uh, it's just an honor to be a part of and uh, to contribute as much as I can to it. Rob, do you, do you think he is the MVP and can you make a case for him to be the MVP? Uh, I mean... Tom's the MVP every year. And speaking of Tom, you went from being a guy that he hated to face and who enjoyed trash talking him to getting recruited by him and playing alongside him. So what has that experience been like? And what have you learned about him having played alongside him here now? Well, I mean, we've, we've stayed in communication over the years. You know, I think that's every great rival. Um, you know, you, you gotta you gotta keep your friends close and your enemies closer, apparently. Uh, but. Uh, we've had we've we've had a pretty solid relationship, and uh, it, it's been really cool to be a part of his team and and to see the way he prepares, the way he, how seriously he takes it, um, how great of a teammate he is, how much he cares about his teammates, how much he goes out to, out of his way, um, to to really connect with everyone. Uh, that's been really refreshing. And back to the other side with Tom. I mean, those, Tom earned those things, and you saw that for 20 years. So like, you know, I. Like you said, it's like a marriage, a 20 year marriage. It's a long time. That's a long time. And, you know, they're both the goats. The goat, one's goat called a coach and one's the goat quarterbacks. You mad, bro? <laughs> it's funnier every time I see it. Oh, I think Tom wow. was mad. <laughs> you don't look very happy. Look yeah. how mad Tom is. Wow. That's what happens, man. That's what happens. Tell us how, what, what was the scenario that led to that picture, your conversations? What was going on? Well, Tom Brady is a little more talkative on the field than a lot of people may be led to believe. <laughs> Everybody um, up here is like, yeah, 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 yeah he is. He's he just is. competitive, right? Yeah, he's incredibly competitive. competitive. He's yeah. a great leader. He's yeah. a fantastic leader and yeah. he's a fantastic ball player, I tell you right here. But he does have his fair share of, you know, he came up to me and Earl. We, you know, during TV timeouts, that's when the TV isn't on anybody. Nobody yeah. sees yeah. anything. And we're, we're standing there talking about, you know, I think we're game planning, talking about, route concepts, and he comes up like, so who are you guys? <laughs> <laughs> what you mean, who are we? Oh, man. <laughs> who are you? <laughs> and he's like, you know, we go back and forth for a little while, then he looks up at the scoreboard and looks back at us. He's like, uh, come see me after this win. So after the game, they didn't win, but I still came and saw him, <laughs> as I promised, <laughs> and everybody got mad at me. It's your fault. It's he, my fault. Yep. He that's invited why you. Asked him why yeah. he, was, he invited you, and then he was mad, so you asked him, you mad, you mad bro? bro? <laughs> oh, man. I want to ask you about this Brady guy. You played him before, <laughs> Super Bowl 53. You hit him once, yeah. but you didn't get a yeah. chance to sack him. What would you learn about playing Brady in a playoff game that can help you today? Um, you know, he's been there a lot of, a, lot of a, a bunch of times, so he got that experience. You know, obviously, you know, he's going to study and find ways to, you know, slow the rush down and not let us get some opportunities to get to him, and that's all quick passes and things he do and, and try to establish a run game. Um, you know, but one of the things we talked about as a group, as a D-line, is um, not to get frustrated. You know, if he's getting the ball out quick, bang, bang, get your hands up. But continue to rush, continue to fly around, because he, he can't do it every single time. There's going to be plays where you're going to have to hold the ball. And that's the plays that we're going to have to get him down to the ground or put the pressure on him or make him feel uncomfortable to the point he can't step up in the pocket, you know, because we're playing against a great quarterback, you know. Um, and And – just like any other quarterback in this league, you get to him, you hit him enough, and, you, and he feel you around him. You, you can, you know, make him feel uncomfortable, and, and that's what we got to do to have success in this game. He has a Hall of Fame heart, stomach, passion, chip on the shoulder, okay? Brady.
can you put in perspective what we see from him in fourth quarters so long in his career? Here he is now, 40 years old in that building. Mm -hmm. What does it take can, for mere mortals who oh. may not have that? You had it, and he has it. What is the it, So I, Steve? I, I'll go out and say it. You know, we talk, you set, set me up perfectly of saying evaluate and all that stuff. Hey, I, I'll be a guy to say it. I would have loved to play with him, to play football with Brady. You you see what he's done with guys. Look at Chris Hogan, what it's done for his career, his opportunity. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that Chris Hogan isn't a, a good wide receiver, but it sure helps when you have Tom Brady throwing you the ball. Y your ability to increase your short career of playing wide receiver, because he didn't play wide receiver in college, he played lacrosse. Look what it's done. And Danny Amendola. People are talking about Dami Danny Amendola as if they've forgotten how he played in St. Louis. He was a good receiver, but he was injury prone. Yet, in the playoffs in the Super Bowl, he's a guy that's consistently scoring points. You know? So, what Tom Brady brings to the table is greatness. He is, he's transcended in the way people look and evaluate quarterbacks. Um, the mind is something that you cannot, um, the mind and the heart, you can't outweigh. There's no combine that can measure and stick for that. He's done what people wish they can do, wish they could be a part of. He is, he's like winning a lotto, man. You know, you get on that team, you that, you're that wide receiver, he makes you better. Your friend Tom Brady is a big part of that. And, and I hear people use the phrase frequently, not just with him, but with a lot of players, that he creates a culture, that Tom Brady, it, it sets a culture. How would you describe what that actually means? What does that look like? How did he come to Tampa and create a culture? I would say the, you know, the, you know, the manner uh, of, of how he carries himself when he steps on the field, the tone that he brings uh, to the team, uh, you know, to the meetings, the tone that he brings uh, out to the practice field. I would say that's where it truly all begins is that, you know, he's not just going out to the practice field to practice. He's going out, you know, to perfect what we got uh, we got uh, on our table, on the table that day, uh, to perfect the plays, uh, to go out there you know, with a purpose. And with the tone that he brings, it just sets the mood uh, for everyone else uh, to get better at the same time. Do you think that uh, what's happened to him with the deflate gate tarnished his legacy, do you think? I mean, <laughs> that's, a, that's a good bait question. I like it. I like it. But uh, I, don't, I don't think he can. I mean, the guy, the guy's a winner. You know, he, he's, he's won whatever kind of personnel he's had. So I don't think it really tarnished it. You mentioned Tom Brady earlier. Tom Brady is 43, playing in his 10th Super Bowl. Um, he said... About four or five years ago, he said he'd like to play to 45. They asked him the other day, he said, yeah, I might be interested in playing beyond 45. Does that give you hope that Tom Brady thinks about playing to 45, maybe beyond? Does that give you that, you know what? Hmm, 40 might not be out of the possibility, but that's a long ways away. A, 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 that's that's five years. That's five years from you, for you. Yeah, yeah, but it does, you know, it does. Like when, you, when I look at guys like Tom Brady, you know, Drew Brees. Drew Brees played, yeah, 42. You know, I'm just like, that's, for me, that's motive. Even though I understand that we play different positions, mm -hmm. you know, based on how I know my body feels, like, that still is motivation for me. It's like, you know what? These guys are, you know, doing the impossible, you know? So why why can't I? Why do you believe uh, Tom has been so successful for so long to be able to play at this level it doesn't matter the system. It doesn't matter the players around him. It seems it doesn't matter the coach that he's able to maintain and perform at a very high level. What do you think are some of the keys to his success? Uh, I, I would say number one is his, his, his mental, you know, uh, is his, his mindset. You know, um, just you just hear him talk to guys. And, like, for instance, after they won the NFC Championship game, I heard one of the linebackers, he was saying that, uh, you know, it was some guys crying or he was sharing a couple of tears and Tom Brady was like, you know, what, what the fuck you crying for? You know, it ain't <laughs> open, you know, right. So just like having that type of mindset, uh, a lot of guys don't have it, you know, and um, it's clear that his work ethic has allowed him to play to 43. And I would say that's like, that's a 
B, you know what I'm saying? I mean, one, one B, um, as far as the work that you put in, because anything you do, I've always been a firm believer in this is you get out what you put in, you know? So you can tell that not only is he a student of the game, but he works his mechanics, um, and he's still been doing it for a long time, you know? So if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Okay. Yes. All right. So outside of the sixties Packers, who is the best dynasty? You, football? Yeah. Or these Patriots? The, 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 the 90s Cowboys are unbelievable. But it, it has to be the Brady era, man. It's the Brady era. You can't get no better than that, man. He, uh, he goes to, it's a regular season game. The Super Bowl is a regular season game for New England. Uh, look, all I know is this, is that when the NFL Network started, uh, our, we were 11 weeks old when we went to our first Super Bowl and the Patriots beat an, an NFC South champion team in Houston, and then next year beat the Eagles wow. to go back to back for the three and four T. years, Eagles. and they're about to do it again potentially after yeah. winning in Houston against an NFC South winner, and now they can try and go back to back in three out of four with unbelievable against the same team, and the only constant is that quarterback, that owner, and that coach. That's the best I, 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 Tom came in, you know. Tom, Tom Brady. Tom Brady came in you know you know him you call him Tom I'm joking but um <laughs> but Tom Brady came in and added another level to it all um and Tom is talk about the ultimate driven guy I'm amazed at what he does because I realize physically you can do something but when you don't have that motivation internally it's, it's so hard and I can imagine I know the motivation I had for 15 I can imagine having the motivation he had has now to this day it's amazing to me and he brings that same motivation to what he wants to do off the field and Tom's been very particular about what he wants to do he wants, only wants to be a part of the best and we've sat down and had this conversation about religion and sports and what we do the content everything we do has to be the best it has to exemplify the people who are involved and none of us are involved in anything that we don't want to be the best at. Or like everybody, you grew up a football fan. What are your memories of watching someone like Tom Brady over the years and, and then seeing him and then playing against him today? You know what? I'm just I'm just so surprised, you know, for a guy his age, you know, just to, uh, just just watching him play over the years, you know, um, how great he is. You know, I've always been a fan of Tom. Like I'm a, I'm always calling him the GOAT. I mean, even though I play with Pat, he's the GOAT too. But Tom, he's he's obviously the GOAT of our sport, you know? Um, but yeah, so yeah, I'm just just so glad to be able to play against Tom. Hopefully I can get a, a jersey swap, you know? So, yeah. Uh, I'm speechless. You know, I think, I don't think, it's never happened, obviously, uh, in our game. And, and there's no question that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have a very, very good team. And I, you know, I mean, no disrespect to any of the other players, but the missing piece to that puzzle was Tom Brady. Now, if you'd have plugged in a different quarterback uh, of of his stature and, you know, Breeze, uh, you, you know, someone who's – who is Rodgers. Rodgers. Would that, that magical season still would have happened? I don't know. I don't, I, you know, I don't know, but I think Tom Brady, his leadership, his competitiveness, you know, is he is he the most talented quarterback? I don't think anyone would say that, but he's got that it factor that you hear people talk about. Um, he just he makes everyone around him so much better. His competitive nature is is as good now as it's ever been, and I've said that all season long. That's that's one of the things that sets him apart. I think. And and I and I use uh, and I can't remember if I talked about this on the show when they went to halftime against Atlanta, you know, several years ago. One of the D linemen for Atlanta was jawing with with Brady, and of course, at that point, Atlanta was pretty much crushing them, and they were getting after Tom really well. And and you could tell that he provoked or pissed Tom off. And I said. Way too early to do that. And so I was thinking the same thing last night when Honey Badger was sticking his finger in Tom's face. Now, the, 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 the crazy thing was Tampa had their number already. So it was like, why incite this guy any more than you need to? And, um, I mean, and that's just he feeds off of any and every little thing that he can to uh, motivate him to be the best. 
and like how impressed you were you were with with Brady. Was that your first kind of in the playoffs moment with Brady, where you saw like this guy is dialed in, this guy is fully committed and, and knows what's going on to the point where he's telling you guys what's going on. Yeah, I mean he's the greatest football mind we've ever seen, and we we definitely saw it last year from the start. I mean we saw it from week one. Uh, but in the, in the postseason, obviously, it heightens a little bit. But he didn't do nothing like extra crazy. He was doing it the whole season. Ain't no better better than Brady. Ain't nobody don't. greater than Brady. Nobody. I agree. So is he the best football? Player? I would say before the same. we get yeah. to the go and say it. We gotta finish it before we get to the best athlete. So Tom Brady is he the greatest football player? Because now that quarterback is almost like a skill. It's a difference yeah, between yeah, football players. Is he the greatest football player me, ever? LT, Deion I'm Sanders, tell you, you ready for this? Jerry Rice, T.O. This. This. No, 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 no. Yo, no, do no. like you right. You say the greatest you said football this one-on-one, player. no matter who the quarterback is, you want to 90% catch that ball, right? Right. You're going you to make that play, but you're not going to change the whole team. Right. Tom Brady changed the whole team. Whole team. Had the whole attitude different. Them dudes just like walking past. So wait, who, who, who walked past you? Tom Brady. And I tell Tom, he only, Tom, he, wait, he only Tom, do that. Tom, he Tom. only do that to offensive players. Cause for defensive players, you do the opposite. If they we, rookies, we would I was have, a rookie. Yeah, rookie. We would have to, we would have to tell them, don't, don't talk to Tom. He don't get in your Vaughn. Yeah, Tom is a nice Vaughn guy. Don't talk to Tom. He did it to me. Hey, DJ, man, listen, have an amazing season. <laughs> you, know, you tackle him, and you get up on some like whatever. Yeah, and that's he, Tom. he know your name. He started talking to you. <laughs> You're like, damn, it's Tom Brady, cool ass dude. You, you take a little bit off the pedal. You right, right. <laughs> so we had to start telling young dudes and rookies, like, bro, if, if Tom talked to you, don't nah. But yo, yo, Tom, Tom, nah, hold up. no, 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 Tom no. ain't soft though. Hold Cause, up, because he hit you up. up. He gonna hit you with, with Tom a gangster too though. No, that's but that's oh, the let's point. Get, of let's get, yeah. No, no, no. Championship game, right? We played uh, the um, Chiefs, right? And um, Tyron he Matthews, got into it with Tyron. he, he, yeah, he um, something that. happened. He, he did something dirty or something or something like that. And Tom, oh, this is what happened. A.B. caught the touchdown. And Tom was like, yeah, you know, because Tom, he gets, he gets yeah, yeah, Speaking excited. about A.B., but So he's like, he's like, oh, man, great, you know, great catch. This is and it was on Matthew. So Matthew felt like, you know, like, get off me type of thing. So Tom came over and was like, yo, I ain't mean nothing by that. So Matthew said, nah, man, f*** that. Tom said, well, f*** you. <laughs> oh, oh. So, yo, the whole solo was like, oh. Look, look, look. The, 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 difference, the difference between Tom, I, I feel that Tom and Peyton is the same situation that happened. They'll congratulate you, Peyton. Oh man, good, good job, blah, 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 this and that. Asshole. You're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Tom, good job, man, whatever. He gonna wait till he get home, laying in bed with Giselle. I got another one, baby. He ain't rush hard all game. <laughs> he, he asked for his jersey after the game. He wanted to sign, I got another one, baby. Like, he Tom like, he is like gangster, look, look. And, and he's smug with it, but he can hold it in.